Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I've done an unboxing video on the Sunrev Aluna and Mini Luna bag. Check out that video if you haven't watched it yet. In today's video, I'll do an in-depth review on these two bags here. I'll talk about the dimensions, the compartments, what fits in it, and I'll also try on the bags and show you what they look like and talk about their pros and cons. Before starting this video, just a little disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I'm a Sunref ambassador and I do have a promo code for all of you. Apply my code SILLYBILLY for $50 off. I can earn a small percentage of commission when my viewers use my code. Sunref is one of my favorite brands. I always give my honest opinion and I have done videos on their bags before becoming their ambassador. Make sure you check out my video on their Ari about bag. I've also done a video introducing my Sunref collection which includes three Aria belt bags. After purchasing their Aria belt bags, I just fell in love with Sunref. I really like their brand values as well as their styles. When they launched the Aluna bag back in October, I was really excited because I think it's really cute and you can wear it as a backpack. If you have watched my unboxing video on the Aluna bag, you would know that I've got a mini Aluna bag as well as and a Luna bag which is a bigger version. So now let's start with some basic information of the bags including the dimensions and the price of these two bags. I got the mini Luna bag in the color Scarlet. It's a really beautiful bright red color. It retails for 575 US dollars. And for the Aluna, which is the bigger version, I've got it in the color cream and it retails for 645 US dollars. These bags also come in different colors, including forest green, caramel color, and also a black color. I will put their dimensions as well as their weight on the screen. As we can see, the mini Aluna is slightly smaller than the Aluna bag, and I personally think the mini size is really cute and it's perfect for me. And when we look at the weight of the Aluna bag, considering that it's made of leather, it's not very heavy and it's pretty comfortable carrying it. Especially um, you can wear it as a backpack so the weight can kind of um, distribute evenly on your shoulders. So now I'm putting them side by side and you can kind of see um, the size difference. They both feature a flap closure, a top handle, and when you flip it around, you can see the convertible straps. So now let's take a closer look at the top handle. As you can see, the Aluna bag has an adjustable top handle. You can push it down so it's closer to the bag. And for the mini Aluna, it also has a top handle, but it is not adjustable, unlike the Aluna bag. So now let's have a look at their shoulder straps. I feel like um, Sunref's shoulder straps are kind of like their selling point because the straps are convertible. You can change it to a shoulder bag, to a crossbody bag, as well as a backpack. As you can see, what I'm doing now is pulling the strap downwards and you can kind of change it to a backpack. And for the mini Aluna bag, it works the same. As you can see, there are a lot of holes so you can make the straps long enough to wear it as a backpack. And when you put it at the shortest setting, you can wear it as a shoulder bag. As I'm pretty short, adjustable straps are really important for me so the bag can kind of sit at the perfect place on my frame. When comparing the straps, I think the straps of the Mini Lunar are slightly thinner. The straps are also detachable and they both feature a shoulder pad so um, it's more comfortable when you are carrying the bag, it won't dig into your shoulder. They both feature the flap closure with a magnetic closure. This is kind of like a signature look of their Sunref bags because their Aria belt bag and their Maestro bag also feature this kind of closure. The Aluna bag also features a zip closure so it's more secure. And when we open the bag, we'll see that both of them have micro suede interior. I think Sunref put a lot of thought into designing their bags and I really appreciate how the micro suede interior is really soft and stain resistant. It can also prevent scratches so I can just put my glasses in the bag without using a case for my glasses. I think the hardware details are also really important when it comes to the design of the bag. 
As you can see, the Mini Aluna bag features gold hardware, um, including their rings, their magnetic closure, and their zip. They are all in gold hardware, and also their logo stamp. And for the Aluna bag, because it's in a cream color, um, it comes in silver hardware. Um, as you can see, the zip closure and the ring, they're all in silver hardware. I think it goes really well with the cream color of this bag. So now let me show you four different ways to style the Aluna bag. Because it features a top handle, you can wear it as a handheld bag. It's a really cute handbag. I really like the pop of color of this mini Aluna bag. And also, by the way, if you'd like to know more about my cardigan, um, you can check out my haul video. I got it from Zara and I really love the embroidery detail on it. Just for reference, I'm about 5'2". And I think both of these bags are a very good size. They are not too bulky and they're not too tiny, so they look perfect. And also they're doing a pop-up store in Hong Kong, which is very exciting. If you'd like to know more about it, visit their website. And my previous unboxing video also includes a vlog of me um, visiting their store. And if you want to keep your hands free, you can wear it as a shorter bag. As you can see, I'm pulling the straps upwards, and when you put it at a shoulder setting, you can wear it as a shoulder bag. It works the same for the bigger version, which is the Aluna bag. Um, I put it at a shoulder setting, so it kind of sits at the hip area. I really like how the straps feature a shoulder pad. It's really comfortable when you are carrying the bag. Unlike some bags that feature a chain strap, um, the chain strap would just dig into my shoulder and when you have to do a lot of walking, it would just um, hurt my shoulder. Now let me show you the third way to style this bag. You can wear it as a crossbody bag. I think the Mini Aluna bag looks really cute as a crossbody. I personally really love mini bags and um, I think it sits at the perfect place. And don't worry, the top handle will not get in the way or dig into your body. Um, you can just rest your hand on the top handle. And um, for the Aluna bag, which is the bigger version, it works the same. Because it's winter season right now, I feel like I would wear a lot of puffer jackets, winter coats, and thick knitwear. And um, then I can wear this Aluna bag as a crossbody bag. I have also got the Senref statement strap to go with my mini Luna bag in Scarlet. I got the strap in the color Merlot and I really like the pattern and the texture of this strap. Um, it kind of gives a twist to the bag and it will look really good with casual outfits like white t-shirts and jeans. This strap is not adjustable but it is detachable. Um, it sits at the perfect place um, around my hips. You can wear it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. I feel like this kind of guitar strap style is really trendy right now. A lot of designer brands also feature this kind of strap and because it's thick and um, also because of its texture, it's really comfortable. It really does make a statement and it elevates the look. I hope Sunref can launch this in more colors and more patterns so we can get different straps to go with different Sunref bags. When you mix and match the straps, you can instantly get a new bag with a new look and I think it's really creative. And of course, you can wear the Lunar bag as a backpack. I would say this is probably my favorite way to wear this bag because you can distribute the weight evenly on your shoulders um, and it's really comfortable. It works the same for the Aluna bag. I feel like this is a really great way to carry a bag when you have to do a lot of walking or when you are traveling. Now let me show you the compartments of the Aluna bag and what fits inside. They both feature an exterior pocket. It's pretty tight and a bit small. For the Aluna bag, it can fit my iPhone 8 Plus. And for the mini version, it also has an exterior pocket. But it's a bit smaller, so I don't think it can fit my iPhone 8 Plus. You can put your receipts and travel cards in it. It's pretty secure. And when you open the Aluna bag, you see an interior pocket. You can put your phone and your AirPods in it. And it also has a pen holder. On the other side, there's another interior pocket which um, features a zip closure. The central compartment is pretty spacious. You can fit a Kindle or your notebook in it. And for the mini Aluna bag, it also has two interior pockets, but they don't feature a zip closure. 
and the central compartment cannot fit a Kindle but it can fit my iPhone 8 Plus. Like the bigger version of a Luna bag, the Mini Luna also has a pen holder and I always use it to hold my concealer. For a mini bag like this, I think it can fit a lot. Let me show you what I usually bring when I'm carrying the Luna bag. I have my iPhone 8 Plus, my glasses, a long wallet from Charles and Keith. If you'd like to know more about my Charles and Keith wallet, you can check out my video on my Charles and Keith SLG collection. I talked about their card holders and their wallets. I also have some lipsticks, my concealer, my AirPods, my Hula bronzer and another wallet from Charles and Keith. As you can see, this bag can fit a lot and um, it can fit all my daily essentials. It's a great day bag. It can also fit a small water bottle or a small umbrella. So now let's see what can fit in the mini Luna bag. As you can see, it's pretty packed, but as a mini bag, it can fit more than I expected. It can fit most of the daily essentials that I put in the bigger version of the Luna bag. Um, except that it can't fit a water bottle and I don't think it can fit an umbrella and um, I can't bring two wallets. If you're using a card holder instead of a wallet, I think you can fit a bit more makeup items such as your powder foundation. So yeah, this mini Aluna bag can fit most of my daily essentials except for this long wallet. So now let me briefly talk about the pros and cons of the Luna bag. I like how it features an elongated zipper with a magnetic zipper hold. So as you can see, um, the zipper won't move around and it won't make any noises. So um, I can see how they put a lot of effort into designing this bag. The bag is also stain resistant. I've tried wearing the Luna bag in cream with my dark wash jeans. Even though it's a pretty light color, um, there is no color transfer and it's still um, really brand new. The leather of this bag is really durable and hard wearing. As you can see, I'm scratching the bag with my nails and um, it doesn't leave any scratch marks. According to the website, the bag is also water resistant, so I tried um, spilling some water on it and as you can see, nothing really happens to the bag. The leather is really good quality. You can wear this bag even when it's raining outside. When you get some water on the bag, you can just dab it gently with some tissues to dry it. And another pro of this bag is that it's really understated and classic. Um, it only has a small logo instead of some extravagant slogans or patterns on it. Just like the others and rough bags like Aria Belt bags and Maestro bags, they are all really classic and timeless. Um, I personally really like classic bags because they never go out of style and you can also use it as a work bag. It's a really versatile bag and you can wear it in so many different ways to match your outfit. And because the straps feature a shoulder pad, it's really comfortable when you're wearing it as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag and the strap will not dig into your shoulder. I really like the style of the Luna bag. Um, I hope they will launch more pastel colors when it's spring and summer and perhaps um, different kind of leather textures such as their dragon leather or maybe a mix of leather and suede. And if they launch different colors, I'm sure I'll purchase another one because um, I just really love this style. I'm very happy with my Luna bags and when it comes to cons, I can only think of some minor problems. When you first got the bag, the leather is a bit stiff because the bag is new and when I first tried to detach the straps, it took me some time and um, after using the bag for a while, the leather stretches a little bit so now it's easier to detach the straps. So um, it's not really a big problem, I think you just have to use it more often then um, the leather will eventually stretch. And the other con is kind of related to my personal preference. I prefer having feet at the bottom of the bag so that the bag can stand on itself. But then I understand why they didn't put feet because um, they can probably add some weight to the bag because it's hardware. Um, but I feel like some feet can elevate the look of the bag. This is pretty much it for this comparison video. Um, it's a pretty long and detailed review. Um, thanks for sticking around and I hope you find this video useful. 
Comment down below and let me know what you think of the Sunref Aluna bag. And also, if you have any questions about the bag, you can also leave a comment and I would love to tell you more about it. If you're planning to purchase a Sunref bag, you can use my code SILLYBILLY for $50 off. Thanks for watching as always. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!